Hello, my name is Simon Goodwin and I'm really proud to be the head teacher of South Wirral High School. I've been the head teacher here for the last four and a half years and during that time the school has embarked on a significant journey. I'm a school leader but I'm also a parent. I'm a parent of two teenage girls and it wasn't so long ago that I was in the position that you're in now considering secondary education. And it's really important to me that I lead a school that I'd be happy for my own children to attend. If I was you, I'd want a school that has three key features. I'd want a school that aspires to excellent behaviour at all times, so the children can learn and reach their potential. A school that pursues academic rigour in all its learning in the classroom and beyond. And lastly, and this is very, very important, a school with outstanding pastoral support because as the young people go through their teenage years, they all need support at some time to make sure that they reach their potential. At South Wirral, our curriculum has three broad aims. We want our young people to be successful learners and also confident, inspired individuals. We also want them to be aspiring and responsible citizens ready to take up their place in society when they finish school. So let me talk first about being a successful learner. In order to be a successful learner, the young people who start secondary school need to have individual attention from their teachers. So it's really important to note that at South Rural, the average class size for a Year 7 student is just 24 students, which means those children get the attention they need, especially in their transitional year to secondary school. Our teachers aspire to academic rigour in everything they do, both in classroom and in home learning. Home learning is recorded through a traditional planner, but it's also made available online so that you as a parent can see their attendance, their punctuality, their grades, but also all the rewards that they've amassed, the achievements they have, they've, they've made. The success of our learners can be seen every year in the destinations that they move on to. Every year we send students on to Russell Group Universities to study a very, very wide range of courses. Onwards also to, to successful apprenticeships. And nothing gives us greater pride than to see their success once they leave here. Secondly, we want our young people to be confident and inspired individuals. So we are a LORIC school. LORIC stands for Leadership, Organisation, Resilience, Initiative, and character. And these are the personal attributes that, that make the students successful in later life. This is promoted in all our lessons, but also beyond in the trips and visits that we give our students throughout the year, many of them residential, and also in the first class extracurricular provision we have, both at lunchtime and after school. In particular, our extracurricular provision offers sports teams and sports clubs for people who don't want to be in teams, but also a wide range of activities, especially in the arts. So they're active in dance, in drama, in art, photography and music, and the other subjects. My challenge to all our students is to have at least one club or activity that they belong to, because it's lovely to see their confidence grow through the extracurricular activities. Lastly, we want all our young people to be aspiring and responsible citizens. I always tell our students that when they're wearing our uniform, they represent this school and that means something in this community. Because we are a community school at the heart of the community of Eastham and Bromborough and beyond. And we take that very seriously. So we want our young people to be aspiring and responsible citizens. We promote this in lessons and beyond. For example, the Hillsborough Day that we run every year that promotes justice the school leadership program that we have where our students uh, are involved in the leadership of the school and our debating society where they engage with contemporary issues. We're really proud to call ourselves a community school. During the recent lockdown we demonstrated this because not only did we make sure that the children didn't miss out on their education but the whole school community, teachers and parents and staff, looked after each other. There are many other schools in this area that have been newly rebuilt and their buildings are very modern and, and shiny. I'd like you to think about this. It's not bricks and mortar that teach your children, it's human beings. 
and at my school I'm very proud to say we've got a first class set of teachers and support staff. Our sense of community and citizenship is also evident in the remembrance services and activities we run every November. So I hope that gives you a flavour of the education that we have on offer here. This is a, a dynamic school, it's a school that's changing and developing all the time and it's a school that I'm proud to be the leader of. My final thought to you is this, as a parent I know that there is no greater decision than choosing a school for your child. All my school leadership team are proud to lead a school that we would be happy to send our own children to. That's a moral commitment to us and we take very seriously the trust that you place in us to educate your child. Thank you very much. Now I've asked some of our young people to talk to you as part of my, my, uh, my talk today. And first up is Lucas Baker. Now Lucas is in year seven. Hello, my name is Lucas Baker. I used to go to Brookhurst Primary School before I was self -rural. I am now in year seven. The day before summer school, I was nervous, but my brother told me not to worry about it. So I didn't, and I really enjoyed it. So, when it was the first day school came around, I was ready, and it was amazing. I saw a lot of my friends from primary school, but if you don't have any friends from primary, don't worry, you will make some. All the lessons here at South were all brilliant. At lunch and break you can play football or chill with friends who are making new friends along the way. Here's Megan who came from Haygarth Primary. Hello, my, my name is Megan Weir. I used to go to Haygarth Primary School before joining South Rural and now I'm in Year 10. Today I'm going to be talking about success and how you can aspire to be the best individual you can at South Rural High. Over the first few years at South Royal High School, I focused on to be the person I am today, which has included many attributes, but now we're going to focus on inspiring others. When I started here at South Royal, I didn't know who I wanted to be. I was just an 11 year old girl wanting to start a new adventure, but now I've took my GCSE subjects, looking forward to get good grades and working hard and looking into different career paths. There have been many opportunities in South Rural but I have excelled through the sports to gain confidence and work hard at other subjects. I inspire to get good grades and become the person people look up to be. So far I've done this through the sports leaders and active girls in mind because you need to start looking at your mental health not only through others but through yourself. This year I'm going to work on gaining my confidence but helping others. I think your child should come here because they should, they should have that chance of support not only through whatever hobbies they may find or may find interesting but through peers as well to work hard no matter what. Now we're going to hear from Senan. Now Senan is in year seven, he came from Woodsley and he'd like to talk to you about how he, he's being developed as a, a young person. Hello my name is Senan Fowlsworth. I used to go to Woodsley Primary School before I went to South Rural. I am now in year seven. My mum and dad signed me up for summer school I was nervous on my first day because I was in a new building and with new teachers. By the end of the day, I had met new people and made new friends. At the start of September, I came to school feeling more confident than my friends who didn't get to come to some school. I don't know what, I'm, what I want to be when I'm older. But I know there will be lots of different classes to help me decide. South Rural is a teaching me to be a responsible citizen by making us wear masks to keep others safe. We also follow a one-way system to keep our classroom tidy for everyone's benefit. 
I'm looking for I'm looking to do my Duke of Edinburgh. The next student we're going to hear from is Alex Goodwin. Now Alex is not a relation of me, but he's also in year seven. Hello, my name is Alex Goodwin and I used to go to Port Nantham Primary School before I came to South Rural. I'm now in year seven. Due to the warm hearted teachers and staff in the school, everyone can be successful learners and aim to get high grades. The staff will always answer your questions and give you feedback. The lessons are extremely fun and if you are paying attention you will just learn so many intriguing facts to tell your parents and friends. At the other end of the school, Josh is our head boy. Hello, my name is Josh. I used to go to Church Drive Primary School. I am now in year 13 and I am head boy. At South Rural, we aspire to be successful learners, a task which we are helped in immensely. During my time as a GCSE student, I was supported and helped in my studies to achieve my maximum potential, leading to amazing results. Now as an A-level student, I am supported and helped and encouraged to do my best. Now we're going to hear from Molly, who's our head girl. She came from Haygarth Primary. Hello, my name is Molly Blight. I used to go to Haygarth Primary School before I came to South Rural. I am now in Year 13 and I am head girl. At South Rural, we aspire to be confident individuals. During my time here, my confidence has enabled me to access skills necessary for the workplace and thus I have gained opportunities like Head Girl, which prior to my time here I could never have done, as well as participating in dance dramas which have helped me with my confidence immensely. My confidence has always been encouraged by the staff and my peers, allowing me to flourish and prosper. Now in my last year here, I am taking philosophy, English literature and psychology to craft a career in law. Here's Nerys, who came from Haygarth Primary. Hello, my name is Nerys Galvin. I used to go to Haygarth Primary School and I am now in Year 11. During my time at South Wales, I have joined many clubs, some being the Student Council and the Debate Society. A few years ago, the Debate Society did a vote on whether we should ban seeing whose plastics was in the school or not, and I was part of the team that got to help to organise it. The Debate Society has taught me to keep aspiring high, because through that aspiration, I have brought positive change to the school. Hi, my name is Mike Cloherty, Deputy Head Teacher at South Rural High School. At school, I look after all aspects of the curriculum. That's from Year 7 all the way through to Year 13. So by that, what I mean is the full diet of education that students get from the moment they come into school to the moment they leave and beyond through remote learning or home learning. It's our vision to ensure that students complete a curriculum that allows them to go on to outstanding destinations, whatever that might be and whatever their passion is. Hello everyone, my name is Mr Harrison and I'm Associate Assistant Head Teacher for Personal Development at South Wirral. My job in school is to ensure you're all happy, aspirational, confident and successful individuals. With this, I aim to provide you with many opportunities in school which support your progress, development and your mental wellness as you develop through our school. I'm the Lorik Lead in school and with this, my main aim is to ensure that from the day you join us to your final day in Year 13, you're a leader, well organised, resilient in many ways, have good initiative and show excellent character. I ensure that you have access to extracurricular activities within the school where we're offering a huge range of activities. Examples including in sport, dance, drama, STEM subjects such as science, technology and maths, as well as clubs in debate society and with the school council, along with many more. I also ensure that in registration time, you have a plan of activities which support you morally, socially and culturally. We really promote diversity in our school and we're proud of every one of our students. We strive to make your school experience happy and successful where you can take pride in wearing our school badge, which many of you will be come September. And I look forward to meeting lots of you in September 2021. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Mr Chitty, Assistant Head Teacher here at South Wirral, and I'm part of the pastoral team who are here to help make sure you get the most out of your time at school. During the school day, you'll usually find me in student services, 
which is where our pastoral team are based, ready to help you with any questions, problems, uniform or equipment issues you may have. Here at South Wirral we have a wonderful pastoral team ready to help you settle into school life. Each of you will be placed into one of the four houses, Laird, Mayor, Stanley or Wilson. The four houses were named after prominent local figures and now our house progress leaders will introduce themselves to you. My name is Mr Woodall and I'm House Progress Leader for Laird House and I'm going to tell you more about the importance of attendance in school. Attendance is the key to outstanding progress. The law requires that children attend school regularly and punctually every day unless written permission has been given for their absence. We expect every student in school to have 98% attendance or above. As a House Progress Leader it is our job to support your attendance in school. We call home to discuss attendance with parents and carers and we may ask your parents and carers to call school as early as possible so we can immediately action your attendance. We have a proud curriculum which is exciting and engaging as well as lots of extracurricular clubs and activities which are brilliant to be part of. You also receive certificates for 100% attendance. Your attendance means excellent progress and we look forward to celebrating this with you in Year 7. My name is Mrs Robinson and I'm the House Progress Lead for Mayor House. I'm going to tell you more about Attitude to Learning at South Wirral. All students are graded using numbers 1 to 4 in all lessons, 4 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. We expect every student to display excellent attitudes to learning at all times. This means you'll make excellent progress. During your time at school, you'll receive termly reports, which provide you with attitude to class and home learning grades, as well as Next Steps advice if required. Next Steps advice is feedback which provides you with important actions you need to make to achieve your target grades. With your attitude to learning being exceptional at all times, you'll develop character and resilience in your achievements during your time with us. We look forward to welcoming you and celebrating excellence in attitude to class and home learning. Hi, my name is Mrs Batch and I am House Progress Lead for Stanley House. I'm going to tell you more about our expectations and what we look for in the South Wirral student. We want our students to be successful learners who are confident and aspirational. We endeavour for each student to stretch and push themselves in all areas of school life. We want our students to be leaders, organised, resilient, adopting excellent character and showing initiative and creativity in all aspects of school life. At our school we offer an extensive range of extracurricular activities which provide you with the opportunities to excel in sport, the arts and STEM. We strive for every student to partake in extracurricular. This allows you to become more confident, allows you to be happy, active and kind. Also, we strive for our learning community to be the best it can be. We want you to be responsible citizens wearing our school badge with pride and we look forward to welcoming you soon. Thank you. My name is Mrs Adum and I'm House Progress Leader for Wilson House. And I'm gonna tell you more about the expectations we have of our students at our school. So we expect positivity, kindness and unity in our school, where we promote diversity and have pride in our school community. We want you to maximise your potential in school and believe your choices map you and your futures. We fully expect a positive learning community at all times. You must ensure you follow all classroom rules and expectations, as well as adhering to the home school agreement. Your safety and well-being is central to everything we do and we can't wait to welcome you to our caring, inspirational school team. Hello, my name 
my name's Victoria Good, and I am the Senko here at South Royal High School. Myself and the assistant Senko, Stephanie Feidel, and a collection of TAs all support students with SEND and indeed the whole cohort here at South Royal High School. Our SEND department offer a range of um, extra provisions, including small teaching groups, which in the core subjects are staffed by a TA and also a range of interventions including Lexia for English intervention and a meal for maths intervention. These typically take place, especially for year seven, in form time registrations where your child, if selected, would do an extra half an hour of maths intervention and half an hour of English intervention per week. We also support your child's uh, wellbeing and progress by using some spaces that are within the school to offer a nurture and a safe space. So if your child is a child that you know would need some extra help, maybe at break or lunch time to transition from year six to year seven, or maybe they have some additional needs that would require a safe space to be able to talk to a small group of friends uh, and staff, or whether your child would just need a friendly face and an ear uh, just in case there were certain times where they felt a little bit overwhelmed then J1 and the Learning Hub are definitely the places that they could visit. Here at South Royal High School not only do we have um, school based interventions but we also have outside interventions um, such as CAMS and counselling services so if your child fits into those categories we do liaise with a plethora of uh, agencies that can help support your child both at school and at home. If you would like any more information about the SEND department then please contact myself Victoria Good at South Royal High School and I'd be more than willing to discuss how we can support your child but also yourself uh, for the beginning of the year seven studies.